If you're going to have your students writing blogs, then you'll want to allow each student to be able to easily access each other's blog. The best way to do this is to set up a menu. And here's how we can do that in open learning. Now pay attention to the principle here because this idea should be able to be replicated in any online system. First up, we want a page on which to create a blog menu. In other words, a list of students' names where each student name will be linked to their blog. In open learning, let's do that in the left-hand navigation pane. So we go to course setup and appearance and create a new button on the left nav pane called, very creatively, blog menu. In another system, you could just create a page anywhere. Now we click the new link and that takes us to a new looking editing system. Now for open learning users, this is pertinent because what you see here as of early 2016 is a, is a different looking editing page system. This is what open learning is heading towards for all pages. So there's a change coming somewhere in 2016, I believe, where this is the type of editing system that you'll be using for the entire course. Now click the edit button and paste in your students' names. In this example, I'm just pasting in one name, so I've got a list of one, which happens to be my alter ego, James Sullivandrew. He's a test student. What we want to do is to link this name to James's blog page, and this is how we do it. In another tab, I've got the course open, the same course, to the students page. So I click James's name on the student page, which takes me to James's profile, and then I click his blog page. The reason for that is because I want the URL. So I grab the URL and return to the other tab and create the link on his name. This is all pretty much stock standard regardless of whether you're using open learning or any other system at all. To test, let's go to the blog menu, then click James's name, and then as you can see, we're on his blog. If you go to this course, you should also see blog menu. And if you click that, you'll see the current list of students in a menu linked to all the students' blog pages. I intend to keep updating this as the groups change, but I'm not going to change the video. So what you see on the screen may be different to what's in the course, but hopefully you should see the updated menu list for the current students in at least one, if not two of the classes of this course. And that's one way of creating a blog menu should you be using blogs for your students. Thanks for watching.